Charles Lamb, he used a pseudonym named Ilia, E-L-I-A, for the London magazine, in which most of his essays were published. Born in 1775, died in 1834. A very famous English essayist and critic, and a friend of William Hazlitt. The name Ilya, the pseudonym, is named after an old acquaintance when he was working in uh, the South Sea House, a financial institution. We are told that Ilya was actually a real person, an Italian clerk. And after a period of time, after his death, the death of this Italian clerk, Charles Lamb took this name, Ilya, for writing essays in London Magazine. And Charles Lamb himself was a clerk and he worked till his death or till his retirement in East India House as a clerk. And sometimes we are told that Ilia, E-L-I-A, is an anagram, anagram of the phrase a lie, a lie, L-I-E. An anagram, as you know, if you rearrange the letters of a word or a phrase, you get a different word or a phrase. And this phrase, a lie, L-I-E, you rearrange the letters, you will get the pseudonym Ilia. And the first collection of essays was published in 1823 and the second collection in 1833. And these are some of the uh, significant essays in these collections. The first is very significant. The South Sea House. You know, you remember the clerk, the Italian clerk working in this uh, financial establishment. And this is the first essay, essay published in the London Magazine, August 1820. And the second one is very famous, a dissertation upon roast pig. If you haven't read this, take time, take your time and read this essay, a dissertation upon roast pig by John Slam. And we have the price of chimney sweepers, referring to small boys who had to clean the chimneys. Then the old benches of the inner temple and a bachelor's complaint of the behavior of married people. In the essays, Charles Lamb represents himself as Ilya and his elder sister, Mary as cousin Bridget, B-R-I-D-G-E-T, Bridget. In most of the exams on English literature, this is a question, uh, who is, uh, or simply put, Mary Lamb is represented as what? Mary Lamb is represented as Cousin Bridget in, uh, in his essays, Charles Lamb's essays. And both, they came up with Tales from Shakespeare. Tales from Shakespeare is a collection of uh, you know, stories from Shakespeare in its uh, retelling version for children. And you can enjoy reading these tales. It's, it's like uh, a retelling for little children. Then this is another retelling. Uh, this is by Charles Slam. The Adventures of Ulysses. Homer's epic is retold in simple words by Charles Slam. This is very important. In his essays, we have a lot of characters. Most of the characters are based on uh, uh, his own family members and others. We have John Lamb, the father. John Lamb is represented as Lowell, L-O-V-E-L, in the essay, The Old Benches. And Charles Lamb's elder brother, we have, uh, again, John Lamb. But John Lamb, the brother, he is represented as John L. or James Ilya. Then he had an aunt, uh, Sarah Lamb the sister of, or the unmarried sister of John Lamb. Uh, Sarah Lamb is also known as Aunt Hetty. And she is referred to in his essay, My Relations. And we have his love interest, Charles Lamb's love interest, Anne Simmons, S-I-M-M-O-N-S. Uh, she is represented as uh, Alice. 
and charles lamb also wrote uh, you know this book called rosamund gray for ann simmons but he fell in love with ann simmons but he couldn't get married to ann simmons um maybe a kind of a love failure so uh, that you can see in rosamund gray charles lamb also wrote poems so you should remember this when you prepare for competitive exams if you are reading prose writers you should also get to know whether they have written any poetry collection or drama and this is interesting because this question was asked in one of the net exams charles lamb uh, his collection poetry collection blank words so this was a question in a net exam and one of his famous poems the old familiar faces next his verse drama john woodville w o o d v i l woodville a tragedy so this is a drama by charles clam and on the right side you see a collection specimens of english dramatic poets who lived about the time of shakespeare with notes a beautiful work in the sense charles clam who is known for you know retellings or you know translating works into simple english or modern english what he did in this work he took acts or certain scenes uh, from famous plays elizabethan plays and he converted that or translated it or translated it into or translated them into modern english but only selected acts from selected uh, plays by elizabethan writers then in 1905 we have the critic ev lucas who came up with the biography of charles lamb in two volumes named the life of charles lamb 